Hello, this is Emanuense. Today I'm going to show you some basic uh, recovery maneuvers when you have some damage, especially engine and table damage. Uh, those are maneuvers that you need to know if you are a uh, super pilot. Indeed, on, in real life, this is something that the, the pilots need to train. Uh, the basic idea is that if you have a problem on there, like the engine fails, or you have an, an erratic problem, like a one, uh, one pedal got stuck, you should be able to safely land. In this case, I have this script. I can use it to repair the, the, the helicopter, to make the engine fail, to make the terror fail, and to verify day and night. Uh, I'm gonna point you to the, to the mission that you can use for that. It's called uh, Hell Heli, I guess, if I remember correctly. Uh, so let's just get it started. The first, first scenario we're gonna verify here is Auto rotation. Auto rotation is a technique that is used when the helicopter loses power on the engine. This could happen because of a mechanical failure, this could happen because you got shot on the engine, or this could happen because you ran out of fuel. Um, on Arma, I have noticed that, that it's way easier to auto rotate from a situation where you have high power speed. Uh, to be honest, Personally, I haven't been able to auto-rotate from, from hovering. I don't know if that is possible in Arma. On the real life, it is possible. So, let's, let me just enable the random failure. So, I won't know. I, I, I will not have an idea when the, the, the problem is going to happen. I'm just going to be turning around here, doing some basic maneuvers. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is point the, the nose of the helicopter upward and put the collective down, completely down. Make sure that you don't lose all the speed because the blades are, are going to stop spinning. Try to fi find a suitable LC and where you are around 20 meters from the ground, just try to decelerate. This was not my nicest landing, but I'm alive. And more important, if I had a crew, it would be a light too. Okay, let's review the auto rotation scenario. Remember, when you lose power on the engine, the first thing you need to do is try to find a safe place and point the nose of the helicopter upwards. This is important because you need to reduce the speed of the helicopter when you touch ground. Uh, the other thing that you need to do at the same time is you need to hold the collective down all the way. This will help because the, it will prevent the, the blades from stop spinning. So just to recapitulate, we have an engine failure. Try to find a nice LC. In this case I'm, I'm gonna try to, I, I had a nice space over there but I want to check this place. I maintain the nose upwards. When I'm getting around 20 meters from the ground, a little bit more, a little bit less, I start trying to control my, my speed. I'm alive, my crew is alive, and we can get out of the helicopter. Okay, next scenario. Imagine that you are flying, happy flying at this place, the so some of the enemies see you and BAM! You lost your tail roll. The tail roll controls the jaw of the helicopter and that is actually not something really important when you are trying to fly forward. Uh, it's most important when you are trying to land and it's really important when you are trying to hover or maneuver at low speed. As you can see, my tail roll uh, indicated by the anti torque indicator is completely damaged. It's not working at all, and I'm still flying. Now, how do I land this? Well, first you need to find some place where you can land. You will need a lot of space because it's not something easy. You're gonna be spinning most likely. Make sure 
like this. Let me just recover this. That was supposed to be the second part. Okay. Okay. Make sure you find a, a, a nice place where you can land, like this place. Just try to, to do a normal approach. As you will do. It is possible actually to land the helicopter without doing any other damage to the helicopter. Uh, I'm not really good at, at, at landing without a, uh, an anti -tour. Uh, uh But it is possible indeed. Uh, if you see, I, I'm gonna link some videos of this guy uh, named Dyslexic. Well, uh, this, uh, this game back. Uh, he's really good. In, this game. in one of the videos, he flies the whole the whole video without an anti -tour. So it's just amazing. It's, it's, you need to be a really, really good pilot. Uh, have a, a, a lot of awareness about your, your environment. Uh, it's really um, well. If, if if you can preload, it's, it's, it gets easier. Uh, this guy uses something called uh, track I IR that he can use to actually look without using the mouse. In my case, I'm, I'm using Alt and, and the mouse to do the preload. So I can do some quick assessment, but it's not as good as, as, as some other tracking software or hardware. Okay, now we have the next scenario. We are trying to to land, for instance, or we are just taking off, and bam, running on the, on the anti-tor. Anti -tor. We were attacked. The first thing you need to do is gain attitude as soon as possible. Why? Because it is important. You need attitude to do any kind of maneuver. Once you have some extra attitude, start to rock your helicopter back and forward. That will make the helicopter become a little bit stable. And if you are lucky, you are gonna start flying to the front. There are multiple scenarios. Uh, in one of the scenarios, you will be flying to one of the sides. In the other scenario, you are gonna be flying backwards. If you are flying backwards, you increase the speed backwards and the helicopter will turn 180 degrees. If you are flying uh, on the side, you can try to, to, to counter spin. Uh, so you can, you can try to, to rock again and, 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 go, and go forward. Now we are going to try to land the helicopter while the anti torch is damaged. Let me just try to find a nice place to land. Since I still have uh, power in the engine, I will be able to come to a bigger place, nicer place. If for some reason I didn't have power in the engine, then I have to do an auto rotation. And trying to do an auto rotation without having uh, an anti torque is a little bit more difficult, but it's possible. I have seen that before. Uh, to be honest, I have never had that scenario but it works. The, when you want to land a helicopter and you don't have an anti-torque, it's similar to when you are trying to land. The only difference is you need to do it quick. Again, I'm not the best pilot of, of, of all. I, I, I can't damage a helicopter. Some guys, like this guy, this Lexi, they can actually fly without having an, an anti-torque and, and they, they can do a really, really good job. Uh, in my case, I'm able to, to do some basic stuff, but it's enough to, to avoid getting killed. Again, when you're spinning, just drop back and forward and you're gonna end up in one of the states. Either flying backwards, forwards, or to one of the sides. Like in this case, I'm flying kind of backwards. Or sideways? I guess it's sideways. Yeah. So, what do I do? I just start rocking again. And you can recover the control of the helicopter so you can actually try to land in a, in a better way. Again, it's exactly the same approach as landing, the only difference is that it needs to be done quick, 
and it won't hurt if you roll the helicopter a little bit to the same side of the of the torch so you can control rest a little bit the, the, the torch. Again, I am not the best of the pilots, but it's at least I'm alive. So, to recapitulate, if you are flying forwards and you lose the, the anti-tor, the pain roller, the damage is basically there, the helicopter is going to be flying funny, but you're, you will be able to actually command the helicopter and basically go whatever you want. The only difference is on low speed, you need to be careful. Let me just try to land it. I will try to land it without destroying anything. Okay, that was nice. Enjoy and practice, practice, practice. I need to practice a lot myself. Happy flying!